Welcome back to the channel. Today is story day. We are going to just dive right into my story because I feel like in 2024, we're starting out, this is a, one of the first videos and like so many people are new. I have been doing this channel for about four years now and like, let's just share my story. Like, how did I get here? You know, what's kind of my background? Uh, I just felt like telling a story today. So here we go. If you don't know us, we are a family of six that have moved from the US to New Zealand and have been here for almost nine years now. Today, I just thought I'd share a little story. Where did I come from? How did we end up doing this? You know, what do I do for a living? All those kinds of things. So let's just dive right in. I was born in Albany, New York, but I mainly grew up in Wisconsin. And so I lived there for um, most of my childhood. And then I eventually went to university and I studied marketing and I got my master's in communication. And I've been teaching at the university level since then, really. I love that. I also started having kids. So I've had four kids, two girls and two boys. I had them all in the US and then eventually we had we're big travelers at doing things we love the outdoors we love the backpacking but we one day was like well we were gonna travel around the whole United States and then we decided you know what we've kind of seen everything I mean we haven't been every single spot but like most of it and we're like why don't we think about international so this was 2013 and we looked at moving um, overseas and New Zealand just so you know is not an easy country to get into <laughs> and in fact with an American passport and it may be different if you're from different countries I'm not sure but I can just share my experience and uh, yeah so we came in 2013 our intention was two years we wanted to give our kids an international experience we wanted to have an international experience and we just wanted to see how other people do things what do you do and how do you do it <laughs> honestly you guys <laughs> didn't expect to love it so much. <laughs> Loved it here. It's just amazing. But things happened and really to my, I really didn't want to, but we moved back to the US after two years because that was the plan. My husband's father had passed and there's just, we hadn't been home. Um, and so we went back, we reintegrated into society in the US. And to be honest, I struggled. I struggled a lot actually. It's hard when you've gone somewhere and it just it feels like you and you feel like you thrive there and then you know you go back. And to me it felt like a step backwards. It wasn't um, and there's really great things about the US. I'm not like trying to put it down but like for me maybe it wasn't the best and plus it's freezing half of the year there so that's not great. So anyway we moved back and then we ended up coming back two years later uh, because we're crazy and <laughs> my husband got kind of this amazing job offer and situation kind of arose and we just really felt led to go there and co to come back here and and that time actually was much harder because we had already integrated back we had done the move back and forth didn't want to do the moving again we actually struggled quite a bit to move back because we had some teenage at the time and just we're feeling nervous about that and just so many things our mentality was quite different because when we moved back we were coming permanently right and so with the well at least you know for at least as long as it made sense and just a much more long term without you know any end date and we just were like you know it's just different when you're trying to actually set up community and, and schools and everything was a lot different than just coming for kind of a two year long holiday <laughs> Yeah, so that's kind of our story about how, and so now we've been in New Zealand for, um, we're going on seven years, and um, we are applied for citizenship, and yeah, so it's good. Learned a lot, learned a lot more about the country, obviously, uh, being here a lot longer, understanding the culture a lot better, having to function here and thrive here. So if you guys are considering a move to New Zealand, seriously, um, message me, go onto my website, kiwiamericans.com. I'll have some links in the description, but I'm here to help you. I've been helping people for three years now move here from mainly the US, but it's not limited to the US. And I have kind of a whole process in place. I have a free 50 minute course, take that. So that's just like where you start, like, so you know where to start, everything you need to know. I just kind of put it all out there. 
um, for you guys. So, so check that out if you're planning on doing that. So that's kind of my story about coming to New Zealand. I have a lot I could share with you about that. And that's what this really this whole channel is about, where I kind of share our journey and learnings that we have coming here. Um, so if you have any questions or want to know more, let me know. Okay, so the second part of this video, I just want to kind of dive in more on a personal side and kind of, you know, who I am and kind of my personal growth over the last couple of years. Okay, let's dive into my story. But before we do that, I forgot to put on here. This is, I always forget these things. So I have an American cookbook. So I've taken the best American recipes and adapted them to New Zealand, Australian ingredients. So if you have an American friend here, you're an American coming here or are here, this book is for you. Link is in the description. I also just want to highlight one more thing because I'm just so excited about it and I love you guys. And I'm hoping to give you guys um, an exclusive on this but i hope you like it it's very exclusive it's my husband created a game it's called adventure trek and it's coming out next month and yeah we've got a lot of interest from distributors here in new zealand and the u.s and it's really cool so if you're interested in this i'm not going to talk more about that let me know it's uh, adventuretreklife.com if you want to check it out and get more details on the game but i'm just excited about it i just want to support my husband and his new creation so um so that's fun but let's talk a little bit about me i'm in my 40s and <laughs> uh like i said i have a marketing degree and then communication and teaching and i love teaching like there's nothing more rewarding than teaching i mean people go into it not for the money right because it's not good money especially in the u.s oh my gosh you guys i get paid so much more in new zealand it's not even funny okay so um yeah, so I've had four kids. I have two that have left home, and my youngest is 12, and I have a 15-year-old. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm about to enter, like, complete teenage world, so that's fun, as you know. You know, when you have four kids, it's pretty full-on. So I've always worked, but I've worked part-time teaching. When I came to New Zealand, New Zealand, they don't have a lot of people here, and so your skills, be, what, if you're very average, say, in your home country, you're probably above average here because <laughs> they don't have a lot of people with certain skills anyway. And so you're able, I mean, I was able to do a lot of jobs I don't think I'd be able to do in the U.S. and I enjoy that. So I've been teaching and writing courses for tertiary institutes here in New Zealand and I enjoy that. I currently run a digital marketing company, which I also enjoy. And that's interesting because I was a marketing. So like learning marketing in the 90, late 90s, early 2000s, nothing applied anymore like some of the principles maybe but like I had to relearn so I started my like digital business in 2015 so when I moved back to the US so we came to New Zealand I had a great time I homeschooled some of my kids I was just you know in the culture I taught here I just wanted to just suck it all in with the two years that I was coming and then when I went home I was like all my kids were finally in school for the first time and now I'm ready to do something different and I decided digital is the future and so I wrote a goal for myself and my goal was very vague it was to be successful online and the reason why I chose that goal was because I knew there was so much I didn't know and that I needed to be able to pivot and for me to say I'm gonna be a successful um, you know creator I'm gonna be a successful affiliate marketer like I didn't want to limit myself so I just said online success and so since then I've started an amazon.com business and I'm still running seven years later and it's probably my most profitable business which makes sense because it's been running the longest I've had lots of small businesses so if you don't know I've run a um, home improvement company for three years I had a for a short run of a skincare line an organic skincare line before um, I moved back here in 2008 17 18 I have obviously a YouTube channel and influencer. I think I'm on the whole creator world. I've been creating for almost five years now and I just do a lot. Like I just do a lot of different things. I'm always into it and I love it. And so, uh, so it's interesting because I, I learned marketing, but I had to relearn everything in 2015 because now it's digital. Like everything is different. I, I have to tell you guys, like I get really frustrated when I'm trying to write, help these universities write digital courses. You know, you're welcome for the ones that I'm trying to write because you need to have people that are digital creators or understand the digital economy of writing these courses because you can't base it on old marketing principles. And so 
that's you know that's what i've been trying to do i you know we get lots of arguments but that's a different story look how about if we all agree to disagree so i you know i'm thinking what does 2024 look for me um i have so many ideas you guys i love new zealand we'll continue to talk about that i have partnered um with a immigration company and we're kind of working out those details so i will get back to you on that it's going to be good um and i'm here for you like you could meet with me i highly recommend just joining my membership it's only 39 dollars a month and the membership is there because moving to new zealand isn't just like take this course and you know how to do it in the membership it has all the trainings it has access to me it has other people that are moving it's kind of like all the support that you need and everything you need to know in one place at a very reasonable price so that's there if you're moving here i am here for that because i really believe that you as a person do nothing but grow exponentially when you move abroad i think that you should all move abroad it doesn't have to be new zealand go to australia go to europe go to south america wherever you want to go like do it because the amount of personal growth you will have is second to none. When you become aware, you guys, I mean, seriously, like I'm in my forties, you know, I'm not like perfect and amazing at these videos, but I've had a lot of success and it's so easy and it costs nothing. I mean, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't use the word easy. I wouldn't say it's easy. It's easy in the sense of like the actual physical work that you have to do, but it takes time. You have to have patience. That's the hardest part, the patience and the consistency. So if you guys are not in the digital economy, you need to be uh, doing a video on that as well. But like, it's so great because like I live in New Zealand and I could move to Europe. I could move to South America. I could move to the States. I could move wherever, but my job wouldn't change and my life wouldn't change. And so it's an amazing feeling where you can set up your own life and do that. So I quit my job. So I was working full time at a tertiary institute here in New Zealand and I quit um, 2022, 2022, early on. And so it hasn't been that long and I've been running my businesses on its own and they're doing pretty well. You know, it's interesting because business, you know, it's never exactly where you want it to be and you have all these goals and don't listen to the people out there. Don't listen like in three months you can make 10K a month. Don't, no, no. Those people are doing that because they've been building and they've, they've, they've built businesses and failed, built, created something and failed. All their learning has now added up to them being successful at 10,000 a month. Okay. So it's not that easy. So don't fall for that. Um, and, but like, like, I think we need to adjust our expectation. Like it's amazing out there that the digital economy allows you to make enough right? Like, what do you really need? Like figure out like what really is about. So this is what I did this year. Like I was frustrated that I wasn't as far as I wanted to be. And I was just like, you know what? Maybe I just need to be thankful for where I'm at. Like I make good money for really the, the time and effort that I put in. I don't even put that much time in it. I have good processes in place and, and I love it. Like when I go and I do contract work, cause I do contract work, um, as well. And I do that and it's like, oh, you know, it really feels like work. <laughs> Whereas in the digital economy, you can create whatever job you want to do around whatever interest you want to do. And it's like out there. You just have to put the time in and you got to put the effort in and you have to you actually have to learn it. And let me tell you, that does nothing but help you. And now we have AI and it's amazing. So anyway, so that's my story. So I really didn't know that I was into in entrepreneurship until we started our home improvement company in 2004. And, um, I was just helping them out. Like I was just going to be like, you know, doing admin and just doing some marketing for them. But then it just turned into like, I love this. And, and that's how I don't like, let me tell you guys, I would never have started a YouTube channel. Like I don't even watch YouTube and I certainly don't want to edit videos. Shout out to Ethan who edits my videos cause I hate it. Um, and, and he's the best if you're looking somebody you just have to put the process in place you got to try things I only did it because people were begging me to do it and my community was begging me and so I did it and I tried it and it's the best best ever so so get out there try new things in 2024 I hope that story gives you some insight as to who I am and how I got here and you know if you're interested in this kind of content so in 2024 I'm gonna be talking about New Zealand I'm gonna be talking about the digital economy I'm gonna be talking about 
anything and everything that's associated with me. Traveling, I do lots of traveling. Last year I spent three weeks in Europe. You know what, I haven't even done a video on that. You know what guys, if I'm just gonna be really, really honest. I traveled in Europe in three weeks in June and I haven't even looked at the pictures. Here's where I'm at. Life is so busy and so fast and it's so great. And it's summer here in New Zealand, so I'm gonna get out here and enjoy the day. Please comment below um, if you want one of these or want something about this or just want to um, need help moving here I'm here for you or just questions you have or things you'd like to see on this channel this year I'm here for it see ya